You ordered a bike from Angry Catfish. Hopefully you receive your bike like this. Not like this. Comes in a box. You have no idea how to assemble it. Here's a video on how to assemble it. Here's a couple tools you'll need for the assembly. When you order a bike from Anger Catfish, it's already been pre-assembled by a mechanic. All we do is just assemble it, and then repackage it, and everything's adjusted accordingly. All you have to do is just do these minor steps, and you're on the road. But simply open the top. There's this staple down with two staples. Um, open it up. Make sure you take out some of the contents. Um, this is the seat. There's a wheel inside of a box. And all you do is to take out all the excess parts and boxes and then just take out the frame. Uh, just so you can just set it on the ground um, and lean it up against the bike box or the wall like I am here. Next step is to just take out all the cardboard that's protecting the frame. And you're also going to have to cut a few zip ties, so you'll need a pair of scissors or a box cutter or a knife or whatever you want to use to cut the zip ties. So we'll go ahead and do that now. Next thing you want to do is grab the, the wheel, front wheel. You either pull it out of this uh, piece of cardboard, sometimes they come no cardboard at all, uh, but you're going to want to take these protective end caps and pull them off. Um, rotor is already installed, so you have the wheel out and you need to find the quick release or through axle. Through axles will already be installed in the front fork. Quick releases are usually stored in these uh, frame boxes. What you want to make sure is that the disc rotor side is the flap side and the non-disc side is the small little nut. And you're just going to place this through the axle and then just tighten it up a little bit and get ready to put it in your bike. Now we're ready to put the front wheel on the fork. And you have to take off this little protective piece. An important reminder is to not tighten the quick release too tight. First tighten up the nut side and then use the lever side. You should just be able to use your thumb to tighten up the wheel. Now it's time to install the handlebars. Most stems are four millimeter um, bolts. So you just need your four millimeter Allen wrench. And you're just going to take the face plate off. So just undo the four bolts. Most are four bolts. Some could be two, but most are four. When you're installing the handlebars, you want to make sure that the handlebars are level. With the flat bar, they'll have a little bit of sweep back, so you want to make sure that that's comfortable. With the drop bar, you want to make sure that the levers are level and not too high or not too low, but it's also personal preference. Stem bolts should be torqued to 5 newton meters. If you don't have a torque wrench, if you don't feel confident in the torque, make sure you stop by your local bike shop. That should be able to help. Now it's time to install the saddle. First, you need to get rid of the protective pieces. All bikes that we've assembled should have grease in the seat tube, but it's nice to touch up just in case it dried out. When you're installing the seat, you got to make sure that it's centered to the top tube. When tightening up that seat post clamp, it's in there 5 newton meters. Next step, pedals. Most bikes we sell don't come with a pair of pedals. Some do, but most don't. Uh, if you are ordering a bike online from us, make sure you buy a secondary pedal unless you don't have a pair already. So, I'll show you how to install. Each pedal has a right and a left. Some are indicated on the pedals, some are not. Some pedals will indicate right or left. Right side is the drive side pedal. 
standard thread, spin clockwise to tighten. Left, non-drive side pedal, reverse thread, spin counterclockwise to tighten. Again, like the handlebars or seat, we recommend going to a local bike shop if you can't install it properly. The tool to install pedals are usually a 6mm or an 8mm Allen wrench. You can also use a pedal wrench if you have one. Now that the bike is assembled, there's one last thing to do. Fill the tires with some air. If you don't have a floor pump, you should be able to go to your local bike shop. They should be able to fill up the air for you. Otherwise, you might be able to go to your local gas station and fill up the air as well. Just make sure you don't go over the limit. The recommended PSI will be on the sidewall of the tire. Now you have a bike you can try to wheelie through your 800 square foot apartment.